Hey guys, it's Grim. Okay, so today I'm going to cover uh, uh, part one of my next project, um, and that has everything to do with uh, home automation. Now, home automation is um, a, a feature that I can just send signals to every uh, wireless switch or controller in my house. Um, so I can switch on the lights with my phone or my tablet or with uh, just a remote or I can just make some schedules for uh, when I'm when I'm on holiday um, so that the the system the home automation system is going to switch it on whenever I want it to switch on without me interfering in it um, so for that home automation project I'm going to use domotics uh, and domotics is a is an, an home automation project that's running for a very long period of time already uh, so it's free, it's open source, you don't need to pay for that, so that's that's fine. And it really does what it what it needs to do. Um, so yeah, let's start with uh, with domotics. Okay. So what do we need for uh, installation of domotics? Well, basically we need uh, a transceiver, so a 433 megahertz transceiver. Uh, I need my Synology USB because I want to install the Domotics software package on my Synology. And basically that's it. I need the package itself, but I will show you how to do that later on. Now, first let's get back to that RFXCOM transceiver. So uh, when I've just typed it in into Google, uh, I've got my local shops here that are trying to sell it. Uh, so I see the first one over here, that's an RFXCOM 400, uh, oh, 433 megahertz USB. Uh, so I bought that one. And basically what you get is, uh, is the, the box with a USB cable. And you plug it into the back of your Synology station, uh, into the USB port. And it automatically sees what it is. Uh, and it's already installed in your uh, in your Synology. So you're going to use that later on when uh, you have installed the Domotics package itself. So over to the um, to the Synology station uh, and the installation of the software. Because the funny thing is, when you go into the packet center in your Synology station and you try to browse through all the different uh, categories, or you just type it in over here and you type Domotics. Uh, oh, domotics! You you see that you can't find it, so uh, it's it's not there because it's not standard, not in the community site, it's not standard in the standard packages. So we need a manual install of it. Now, um, how do we get uh, the domotic software? Um, for that, I've googled as well. Uh, oh, that's this one. I've Googled as well, and you can see that Domotics has a, has a wiki page that actually tells you how to install a ready-made package on your Synology. Um, the only thing you need to do uh, is to click the link over here, download the package from this website. And I would like to have the Domotics stable version with Python installed, because you need Python in order to run scripts. Now, choose your own model. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm, I'm trying to install it on, on the DS210J. It's an old version of Synology, so it, it's an old model. Um, you can click that, and it's it's going to download when you I click the download link over here. So I need the Demotics one. Click Demotics. It's downloading now. Now, if you go back to the Synology station itself, and you click the manual install button, and you know where you've downloaded your file, uh, and I've already done that. So I'll click Browse. Browse, come on. It doesn't browse, that's funny. Oh, there it is. So um, here's the uh, SPK file that I downloaded just from the website. So I, I select it, open it, open it, oh, no. I don't think it liked my, oh, there we go. Um, I just clicked the button um, <laughs> a lot of times. So it's now getting installed. So we're gonna click next and it's gonna uh, install the whole package. And you're gonna see that the Domotics um, package is being installed because of the of the icon that you have here. And you can see the, um, 
the installation procedure. I'm not going to do that because I've already installed it, as you can see here. Um, but that's just basic installation. Now, the fun part is that if you switch over to the demotics, uh, normally you're going to open the, open the screen on, the, on your IP on port 8048. Um, that's basically it. Or you just click the icon on your Synology desktop then you will get there as well. Um, but you open the dashboard and normally there's nothing in. As you can see, I've already installed some um, of the sensors, some of the switches that are already in because I just wanted to see uh, how it works um, because that's that's the basis of my, uh, of my whole project. Now, before you can even start with the whole switching thing, you need to go down to setup there is a button hardware. I kind of click that. I need to install the hardware because otherwise I can't do anything with switches. So um, if you have a blank installation, then you don't see anything of this. It's, it's, it's empty and that's it. Uh, I'm going to use the RVXCOM, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to create a new RVXCOM um, device. Um, so basically, I've, I've, I've enabled it, I've given it a name, I need to select it in my pull-down menu. So, RFXCOM, here it is. It's an RFXCOM uh, USB 433 MHz transceiver, so I'm going to click that one. I don't need to do anything with data timeout at the minute. And you can see that the serial port is referring to the USB and that's the USB that's actually on the back of your Synology. You can't do anything else because I have nothing else connected. So my USB zero is the only one that's there and that's my RFXCOM. So you can see that the RFXCOM is uh, is added to the uh, to the panel itself. Um, you can do a lot more things with the um, with the domotic setup. Uh, as you can see, there is a weather underground um, sensor installed, or what they they call it, a piece of hardware. But the weather underground makes sure that uh, I'm connected to one of the weather stations here in the area, um, where I can just use it uh, to make a complex schematic um, on how to drop my sunscreens if it's getting too hot in my house or whatever. So too hot, and that uh, gives me the the tone thermostat. Um, which is my, my actual house thermostat here that I've connected to the network and I can use that uh, in order to make sure that if I'm coming home in winter and it sees my, the Domotics installation sees my smartphone, uh, that it automatically switches on the lighting and my heating uh, in, in, in the house itself. Um, so you, you could use Nest or whatever for that. Um, you can use whatever. Uh, then the last one is the, is the dummy. Uh, and the dummy, you can create all kinds of switches which you can use in, in particular scenes, or you can uh, create multiple uh, intelligent scenes with the, uh, the tone thermostat. Uh, so in my next video, um, we're going to build some switches. And as you can see, I've built them already over uh, in my installation. Um, I'm going to show you things with regards to the weather forecast, the temperature, um, and in the end, we're going to do um, some scenes and we're going to create uh, a floor plan in the end. Um, and that's still empty in my, in my installation. Um, and basically, that's what we're going to work with. So my next tutorial is about that. Um, and I will see you next time. Cheerio.